The following contest is a triple threat steel cage match. And it's for the championship. Introducing the challenger from Pierre, South Dakota. Weighing in at 320 pounds, he is one half of the Guys, while well, exciting, we have to remember that triple threat matches are incredibly school, dangerous, John. especially when a two-on-one attack takes place, which is inevitably going to happen at some point here tonight, Michael. And introducing the challenger from Cocoa Beach, Florida, weighing in at 399 pounds, Bob Ross. Are you ready for this, guys? Our triple threat steel cage match is coming up next. Oh, I'm ready, Cole. I fully expect that this match will steal the show. But given who we have involved here tonight, that shouldn't come as any surprise. And introducing the champion from Toledo, Ohio, weighing in at 220 pounds, he is the wrestling all-star champion, the captain, Joel. Guys, we're moments away from seeing three of WWE's top superstars locked inside that cage. And as barbaric as that may sound, part of me thinks these three superstars wouldn't want it any other way. Here we go with this huge triple threat match. Guys, I'm interested to see if any alliances get oh. formed here tonight, or if it truly will be one-on-one-on-one. -on -one -on -one. Beautiful technique. Ooh, what impact. Oh. Nailed it. You gotta believe this one's over. Boom! Oh, nasty impact. Boom! Harsh impact. Challenger's starting to slow down a bit here. 
Looks like he may have let his guard down there for a moment, and it cost him. Larian! He's looking banged up here, guys. And it looks like things are about to get even worse. Spinning kick in the gut. Oh, that might have just broken something. The champ's on the defensive now. This is a dangerous spot for him to be here in this triple threat match. The dangers of this triple threat match appear to have escalated quickly on him. And this has all the makings of getting out of hand fast. He better be careful. Before 2017's Extreme Rules, there were just three previous tag team matches where championship gold was decided inside a steel cage in the history of WWE special events. The Hardy Boys were in two of those matches. At Extreme Rules, in order to win the match, both members of a team had to exit the cage and have both feet on the floor. The Hardys used their famous continuity to gain the early advantage until Cesaro and Sheamus utilized their devastating power to slow the pace of the match down. Both teams battled atop the steel cage, but in the end, Sheamus and Cesaro won the race to the arena floor to become new Raw Tag Team Champions. The triple threat match from Vengeance featuring The Rock, The Undertaker, and Kurt Angle took complete advantage of the no count out and no disqualification stipulations. There was a full-scale brawl out on the floor within the first few minutes of the match. The dead man battled both superstars and refused to relinquish his undisputed WWE Championship. It was anyone's match. These superstars threw caution to the wind and went at each other with a ferocity we'd never seen before. When all three gladiators were down, the Olympic hero dropped the dead man with the angle slam for what should have been the end. But the Brahma Bull made it to his feet, sent Angle crashing to the canvas with a rock bottom, and bam, became the new undisputed WWE Champion. According to historians, the twisted metal that we see as part of steel cages today dates back 80 years. To settle a dispute between competitors Jack Bloomfield and Count Pietro Rossi, the two met inside a ring surrounded by chicken wire. At first, the steel cage match is in the books. Corey, you gave us an impressive history of the origins of the steel cage match. I'd like to point out to our viewers that from the 1960s to the mid-1980s, chain link fences were used to enclose the ring Here for WWE steel cage matches. A superstar could win by Wrestling pinfall submission or by champion. exiting the cage through the cage door the or climbing over the top John. of the cage. We should also point out, Michael, that the way to win a steel cage match can vary by match depending on what was agreed to before contracts to compete in the match were signed. Talking about history, at WrestleMania 2, WWE unveiled the redesigned steel cage with solid steel blue bars before returning to chain link mesh in the late 1990s. Decisive victory here in this 